Hey everybody, it's Tech Freak back here with another video, and in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you the top five city tweaks of this week. So, without any further delay, let's get started. All right, guys, so let's kick this off with this very cool city tweak called Lithium that changes the look of your battery icon right here. The battery indicator icon, you can change the look of it by this tweak called Lithium, and you can download custom looks from Cydia by going there and searching for them. But there are two custom ones that come with the tweak itself. So again, guys, this is called Lithium. So by going to the preferences right here and go to Lithium, you can have a kill switch up here to enable it and disable it. And there are two themes. This is the Habesha and the LBI theme. So you can change that. And, of course, uh, it will give you a very cool look. And you can download custom ones from Cydia yourself. So yeah, guys, this is Lithium. Coria allows you to have a better looking quick reply page when replying to someone from iMessages. So on iOS 8 we uh, were introduced with the quick reply feature. So let me just show you this right quick. And basically when the message is received I can slide down to quick reply. But here, as you can see here, if I slide all the way down I can have a list for the whole conversation here and it just gives more information and you know a better looking experience right here so yeah guys this is Coria there are no such settings to configure so you'll need a custom source for this I'll be leaving a link for it down below in the description so yeah guys Coria Alright guys, so here's BioBoot. Now what BioBoot does, it removes the annoying thing that Apple does when we reboot our iDevices. It asks us to use the passcode and doesn't allow us to use Touch ID after rebooting. Well, with BioBoot, you can disable that feature and you can enter your device with your Touch ID fingerprint after rebooting. If you go to the settings of BioBoot here, as you can see at the top, you can find a kill switch, and here you can have the boot time, where you can set that as your device, set the boot time of your device. So yeah guys, this is BioBoot, and this is a very, very useful city tweak. So the next tweak here guys is called Snapper. Snapper is a very nice city tweak that allows you to take or crop some part of the screen and take it as if you've taken a screenshot. So let me just show you this right quick. Uh, so you set an activation method for this one. So for me, I've set it to uh, tap on the volume HUD. So I'm just going to tap here. And as you can see, my screen goes a little bit dim. And now I can take any part of the screen and choose it like this. And now I've just taken an image. And if I tap and hold on that, I can have a lot of uh, options like close or save or copy or even share it so yeah this is a very nice city tweak called snapper guys and it's very very helpful alright so for the final tweak here guys it's called android lock xt and basically this brings uh, the android better lock screen view right here to the iPhone so this is really fun for you android switchers right here you can have this really cool feature and as you can see here it works pretty fine and it unlocks my phone and if you go to the settings here of Android Lock XT you can have a kill switch up here and there you can change your pattern so this is my pattern right here oh sorry this one right here is my pattern oh man I can't get it alright there you go this is my pattern right here and it'll ask me to draw a new pattern and stuff like that and it can change the theme of course if I choose no theme there will be this cool modern UI of this pattern here. I like this one actually. Or you can have the uh, one that comes on Android. And as you can see, there is the change the appearance. You can change a lot of appearance here in the Android Lock XT. So, yeah, guys, it's a very nice city tweak for you guys out there who just came from Android to the iPhone or just like a new welcome change to the passcode, especially if you don't have a Touch ID device enabled. Alright, guys, so that wraps it for this episode or part six of the top five city tweaks of the week. So, if this it was helpful and if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more jailbreak videos like this and be sure to check out the old uh, the uh, older parts part 5 part 4 and the all the other parts and check out my top 20 free best city tweaks and also my top 10 essential city tweaks that you should download once you jailbreak so yeah guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you up in the next one peace